With him, it's very simple. Like, never have I shared the camera more than with Darren. He's uh, very savvy with where the camera goes and what it's capturing, and he's very savvy in movement. Believe it or not, he's actually subtle, even though he's very heavy-handed emotionally, in the best possible way. I think he's, he's very in intense in that. He wants for things to be very clear. As artistic as he is, he, he's also literal-minded, because he, he really considers the audience. So for me, I have to, you know, have that same mindset. It's my inclination to be suggestive with the camera. And directors, I think, are more literal. With Darren, it's, there's some specifics that you get from him, which is amazing because then you can create off of those. And the director gives you something, a motivation, an idea, a concept, and then you can build off of that. And the more they give you, the more you can do. My favorite films of my career are with Darren Aronofsky, and, and it's because he gives me so much to work with. I have to say, it's kind of easy. You know, I know that he's going to challenge me, and I know that it's going to be a lot of work, but I know that I'm going to do something I haven't done before. But at the same time, he's, it's very simple. I mean, he believes in subjective camera. So to get things emotionally, he just puts the camera right in front of the actor, or right behind the actor, and he only concentrates on that. We light scenes in Mother or uh, Black Swan or The Fountain or Noah. You know, there's probably 10 shots that would be beautiful in every scene, but we only put the camera where he wants to put it, which is <laughs> in the actor's face. So he's got extreme discipline. So knowing that he has extreme discipline, I don't deviate from it. I know what the parameters are, and I know the movement of it, and I know where the light has to be. So I just work off of, you know, his parameters. Like, he gives me the, the four corners of the frame, mm -hmm. and then I, um, I light accordingly. This is something that we've gone and talked about over and over again since film school. The concept of where light comes from. I think I've become more and more attuned with where light naturally comes from, of course. I'm less motivated by the artificiality of creating light for a space. When a director in general wants to move the camera through space, they're dictating the lighting to you, you know, and you, you have very few choices. Then that's when you get to embrace the shadow. <laughs> and uh, I just try to use that as an opportunity and not such a problem. It's funny because we've never shot digital together. We've only shot film. So uh, it's going to be interesting when we first do that because he can finally see something in natural light and say it's shootable. But um, I like to argue, it's like if you didn't do 10 takes, I wouldn't have to light it. If you did it in two, we could shoot it naturally. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know if it's naturalistic. I, I like thinking that's how I approach it. I kind of appreciate if that's the impression I give. You know, being able to uh, change the color temperature of things and create contrast through color has become easier now than it's ever been because we can dial it in on an, on an LED, on a sky panel. When I first saw Chungking Express, I was blown away. Like all the things that we tried to correct for, he was embracing, you know, and that just changed my life. I was like, fuck this, I'm not gonna correct anything. You know, that thing's gonna go green, that's gonna go magenta. That's going to get too warm and that's going to be way too blue. And there's no white light reference and I don't care. You know, and it sort of changed the way I thought about filmmaking. Remember him going through a market and seeing like cool whites. I just have this impression of cool white, fluorescence, urban city. It's actually my favorite environment to shoot in is urban um, night. Chris Doyle and Juan Kar Wai was like embracing all the imperfections that film gives you in balance. And now it's harder to achieve. You know, sometimes when you're lighting, you want to create contrast through the light and shadow. But you can create contrast in a situation through color. 
And that's become easier now with today's technology. I try to root it in things that I remember from film, like how a tungsten film would render a color or a daylight film would render a color. I try to do that by setting the color temperature a certain way and then changing the color of the light. So I just feel like that's something very modern cinematography. Thank you.